Irritable bowel syndrome, commonly called IBS, is a chronic gastrointestinal disorder characterized by abdominal discomfort and changes in bowel patterns. It manifests in three main forms called IBSC, where constipation is dominant, IBSD, where diarrhea is dominant, and IBSM, a mixed type with alternating constipation and diarrhea. IBS is a functional disorder, meaning there are symptoms present, but there is no correlating gastrointestinal disease. The cause of IBS is unknown but there are many theories regarding its pathophysiology, including abnormal intestinal muscle contractions, improper nervous system signaling in the GI tract, altered gut flora, and immune response changes. Environmental factors such as stress, antibiotic use, infections, and food intolerances also play a role. Risk factors include being female under 50, having anxiety or depression, a family history of EBS, and geographic prevalence, being more common in clients from South America and less common in clients from Southeast Asia. Common symptoms of IBS include abdominal pain, bloating and changes in bowel habits, often linked to the intake of certain foods and relieved by bowel movements. There are no specific diagnostic tests for IBS, so diagnosing IBS typically involves using Rome 4 criteria. To be diagnosed with IBS, the client must experience at least two of the following symptoms for at least three days a month over a three-month time span abdominal pain that improves after having a bowel movement, alterations in stool frequency, or alterations in the appearance of stool. Additional tests like blood work, stool tests, or colonoscopy may be conducted to rule out other conditions if alarming symptoms like blood in the stool or significant weight loss are present. Treatment for IBS aims to control symptoms through lifestyle changes and medications, increased physical activity and dietary adjustments, such as avoiding poorly absorbed foods and maintaining a high-fiber diet, can help. Medications are prescribed based on the predominant symptom. For clients with constipation as the predominant symptom, fiber supplements and laxatives are prescribed. For clients with diarrhea as the predominant symptom, antidiarrheals and probiotics are prescribed. Low doses of antidepressants such as tricyclic antidepressants or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors can be helpful for clients with severe symptoms. Specific medication like alocitron is prescribed for women with IBSD, and rifaximin, an antibiotic, may be prescribed to reduce the occurrence of diarrhea and abdominal pain. Priority nursing interventions include managing abdominal pain, ensuring adequate nutrition, preventing dehydration, and monitoring for electrolyte imbalances. Goals of care include maintaining a manageable level of pain and establishing normal bowel movements and a healthy weight. Nurses teach about prescribed medications and encourage fluid intake when diarrhea is present to prevent dehydration. They encourage referrals to specialists like gastroenterologists and dietitians to individualize the client's IBS treatment plan. Client education is crucial for managing this chronic condition and includes teaching about maintaining a food diary to identify personal triggers avoiding food triggers, and using stress management techniques. Established outcomes are evaluated to determine if goals are met, partially met, or unmet, and adjustments to the nursing care plan are made as indicated.